Hello, welcome back to Lead Coding. Today we are solving final prices with a special discount in a shop. So we are given a list of prices of items that are present in a shop and we have to calculate the output which will be the final prices after discount. So there's a scheme going on in the shop. The scheme is if we are at the ith item then the discount that will be given on that particular item will be equivalent to the value that occurs next to the ith item and that is smaller than or equals to the price of the ith item. Let's say here we take 6. This is the value, this is the price of the ith item and 2 is the price which is smaller than 6 and occurs next to 6. So 2 will be the discount that will be given on this item and the final price will become 4. So we have to calculate this final output. The constraints are given as 500 so we can easily solve this problem in big of n square and most of us will solve this problem and move on to the next one. But during an interview of course the interviewee is going to ask us for a better solution and yeah there is a better solution if we look at the problem itself it is asking us nothing but to calculate the next smaller element for each of the elements. I have an entire video dedicated to this topic of monotone stack which is used to calculate the next smaller element, the next greater element and many such problems. Those who haven't watched that video please go to the description I will provide the link to that video. Once you have done that you can come and solve this problem. Now let us move on to the solution part. This is the array which is given to us. We have to calculate the next smaller element for each of these elements. The first element is 8. So we will simply push this onto the stack. The next element is 4. Now 4 will pop all those elements which are greater than or equals to 4. As 8 is an element which is greater than 4, so 8 will be popped out by 4. When 8 is being popped out, the final value will become 8 minus 4 as 4 is the one who is popping 8. So the answer will be 4 for this particular index. Now 4 will be pushed onto the stack. The next element is 6. 6 is not going to pop anything because there is no such element which is smaller than 6. Then 2 will come and 2 is going to pop both 6 as well as 4. So while popping 6, as 2 is the value which pops out 6, so the final answer will be 6 minus 2 that is equals to 4. And for this index, the final answer will be 4 minus 2 that is 2. Now 2 will be pushed onto the stack. The next element is 3. When we push 3, there is no such element that is greater than 3. So, yeah, this is the final configuration of the stack and this is the final configuration of the output. But there are still two elements that are present inside our stack. So we need to pop them out. While popping them, we are going to maintain the prices as their original price because there is no such element which is present next to them and that is smaller than those elements. So they will remain untouched. This is the final answer that we obtain using this approach and it is an O N approach, big of N approach. It is also using space, so big of N space. Now we see that the stack that we are using here is maintaining an increasing structure. So it is an increasing monotone stack. I would suggest you to go through all the problems which are related to this concept of monotone stack. I will provide the link in the description to that video. Just go through it and make your concept clear. Then you can actually try coding this out. Now let us move on to the coding part. The first thing is stack. Stack of type int. Then we are going for each element. I will make our answer. Now while the stack is not empty, and now inside the stack I am not going to actually use the values at particular index but I will be using the index itself because if I have index I can easily access the value using price array. Also index will help me to calculate the final answer. So s dot top will give me the index so prices of s dot top 
this will give me the value while this is greater than or equals to the current value that is prices of i till that time i have to do two things i have to pop out this element and before popping i have to calculate their final price so answer of s dot top this particular index will be equals to the original price minus the original price is this minus the current value which is the next smaller value and then we will be popping out this top element as dot pop then we will insert the current value as dot push i and then we will return our final answer so there are still some elements that are present inside our stack and we don't have to do anything with those elements because we are taking our answer array as the prices array so it is going to handle that case now let us see it is giving me correct output and it got accepted if you like the solution please subscribe to the channel thank you